What up? What up? <clears throat> Thank you guys for joining in today. I am BK back at you with another banger. Today we're back in Serato Studio. I'm doing a, doing something a little different. I want to mess with the NPC, my NPC, <laughs> my NPC live inside of Serato Studio. Like the the drums, you know how they got their drums in here is cool. I'm really not. I gotta play my drums out. Not that you can't play it out with your like the MPK minis or you know any MIDI keyboard that you have. You can do that, but I like my pads. I like the feel of the MPC opposed to the feel of the drums in Serato Studio. So this is just a test run. It's nothing crazy. I already got the, the MPC loaded up. If you don't know how to load it up, you gotta go down to plugins. When you go to plugins, you can go to the search field, type in MPC, and then it'll pull up faster for you or just scroll through the list of all your plugins. And once you have it in here, then pow, it's right there in your face. You feel me right there. So um, yeah, once you got that going, you're pretty much good to go. Oh, you want to go in here, go to edit, go to preferences. Once you're in preferences, go to general, no, go to hardware. And you want to change it from host DAW to MPC plugin. There's currently some dropouts, the sounds. The sounds be dropping out periodically. I'm not sure if that's my setup or if that's just a bug or if, you know, the tool, the tool does, does not communicate well. I'm not positive, but either way, let go. And then I also got the, these, the sample from MSX Audio. They got the horns, the horn. It's called Horn Section Volume 1. I'm going to get and try to record that in. All right, boom, so I got that. Now I'm gonna look for another sound to layer on top. Boom, so I found this other one, this other horn. And I added some uh, some effects to it to, to make it sound that way. So now I'm gonna uh, record that in on top. So now I got that. Now I pulled in this bass sound. So I might have to duplicate this again so I could play out the, the, uh, the bass. So if I get that in one,
clear that. I don't like that. Hold up. So I pulled in this acoustic piano. It's also from MSX Audio. And I got the auto chords running. Let go. See, it, it's way off. Like, that is not what I play, fam. Hold up. All right, let's try that again. So the cool thing is that, as you can see here, there's several different chords, and I played that from my MPK Mini. And by having the auto chord selected, it just, it, it's, it sounds beautiful. And then I mess with the feel a little bit. Opposed to Know what I'm saying he's dope. Let me go ahead and add this stab right here. I don't know why. I'm just gonna add it though. So I'm going to add a different drum section. So the, the, the thing with having the MPC connected in Serato Studio is that, unfortunately, unless there is a way, I just have to figure out the way. I can move, we can move from sequence to sequence, having the MPC Live X01, we can, you know, go through the sequences, but there's no way to record in, at least I don't know how to as yet. And I'm not gonna bust my brains on that. That's minimal. I could just bounce this down and go into, you know, Studio One or something. You know, that's my go-to. Um, and track it differently. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna do that right now. What I'm gonna do is, because you can't have two instances of the NPC. So, um, because we can't do that, I did see where Hold on. I went into the song mode to see if you could record audio in because I remember the last time I was in here, it said add audio. But 
you could add audio like drag and drop your audio in but you can't record so I'm gonna end up doing I gotta figure a way how to freak it son see so we can put the audio in here I mean the MIDI notes in here but because I didn't do that originally it's not going to work the way that I want it to work. So I got to figure out a way how to manipulate this. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is just uh, do some minor manipulations and see how I could make the pattern change and then bring y'all back in. All right, y'all. I'm about to just close out. I'm, I'm exhausting brain power in order to figure out how to make these adjustments. And it's taking far too long. It's taking far too long. So I'm gonna show this on, on camera or in this recording. So hopefully there's a way that this can get implemented. So we know that we have the export MIDI right here. So if you have the MPC uh, plugin opened up, you go here and in theory you're supposed to be able to drag this MIDI in. It doesn't it doesn't accept it, but it accepts the audio. And then I have the audio there. Why did the NPC close out on me? Hold up. The NPC just, oh my God. So the NPC just quit on me. So after I dragged the audio in just now, the NPC quit on me for some, for some reason. So now I have no drums. This is crazy. So like I was saying, you drag in the audio and then you have the audio, but it sounds all crazy. I don't think that's how it was sounding. Not bad. I mean, I could play with it that way, but that's not the way that I, I wanted to play it. And I'm, I really want to know where my MPC went. All right, there you go. That's odd. That's not supposed to be a thing. Like, I get this doesn't work, but if you bounce this audio, oh. Because I dropped it on the MPC pet, the MPC. Okay. So what I what I ended up doing was dragging in the the audio, the drum audio, and it's goofy as hell, but it worked. I just got to figure out how to freak it to make it make things sound better. I muted the MPC, so the MPC is no longer playing. The only things that are playing is the. Uh, the the tracks itself right so that's what it is for right now now i'm gonna go into the uh the master section and try to boost it up put a better mix on it Yeah, man. Struggle time was real. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Serato Studio cookup. Might be all over the place for time edit is <laughs> all said and done. But yeah, you can use the MPC inside of Serato Studio. That much we do know. The only thing is, um, is getting the sequences to align. You know how you could drop out certain sounds and stuff like that. 
it doesn't work like that unfortunately and there's no way to track the audio in outside of dragging and dropping as i showed earlier in the video that's the only way around it right now yeah man that's pretty much it any comments or concerns post it up in the comment sections and i'll get back to you at my most earliest convenience if you made it this far in the video thank you <laughs> for bearing with my struggleness um that's pretty much it, man. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, and light. Till next time. Peace. Peace.